Hello everybody, welcome back to the STEM Rocks YouTube channel and today we will be doing another fun low cost STEM project which teaches the water cycle. Here is a picture of the water cycle that I found on the internet. The materials that we will be using in this activity today is a sharpie. In this activity I will be using a black sharpie but any color will work. The next item is a Ziploc bag. Today I will be using a bigger Ziploc bag, but any bag, but any size of Ziploc bag works. The next item is a cup of water and dye to color the water. If you do not have dye, you can use any sort of Gatorade or Powerade. The next item will be a spoon to mix your dye with the water. And your final item will be some tape. So after you've gathered all of your materials, the first step will be to draw the water cycle on your baggie. So when drawing the water cycle, we begin with collection. And collection is where the water collects. This, examples of this is oceans, rivers, or lakes. So on my baggie, I'm going to begin with drawing a little ocean. Which I will then mark it as collection. Our next step in the water cycle is evaporation. Evaporation is when the liquid, due to the heat from the sun, which you will draw your sun, due to this heat, it turns the liquid in collection into water vapor. To show the vapor rising, you can draw little dots on your baggie. The next step in the water cycle is condensation. And as the water vapor rises in altitude, the air gets cooler, where the water vapor turns back to liquid. To show this, you can draw a cloud and then mark it as condensation. Our final step is precipitation, and when the liquid gathered in the clouds gets heavy enough, it will fall, in multiple examples as rain, sleet, or snow. You can draw this by drawing a thundercloud with rain falling from it. Examples or it can fall in two different states, liquid as in water, or the second state being a solid where it falls as ice. Once you have drawn this, you are completed with drawing your baggie and the water cycle. Once you are done drawing your bag, this is what your bag should look like. Although, this is your project, so you can be as creative as you want to be. So once you are done drawing the water cycle on your baggie, the second step will be to pour the dye into your water and then to pour the water into the bag. The second step, you may need a little help. So first, I'm going to pour the dye into the water. You may need to mix it up a little bit with the spoon or another source. And second, I'm going to pour the water into the bag. Next, you are going to want to seal it tight so the water will not escape. And there you have your bag. When you have completed your water cycle model, your third and or your third step is to find a window in your house and place your model on that window. It helps to secure tape on the model before, where when it is then on the window, you can secure it with more tape.
So the fourth and final step in this activity is to view how the water cycle has been completed in your bag. As you can see, for collection, the water that we put in early has been collected at the bottom of the bag. We can see how the liquid has been turned into vapor, although it can be harder to see. For condensation, we can see the fog all around the bag. And finally, for precipitation, we can see the water marks in the fog, showing how the water, or showing how it turned back to water and fell down to be collected again. That completes this activity, and I hope you enjoyed.